Tego. Hi, you paisanos, and welcome to Super Media All Stars. My name's Jake, and uh, I'm getting kind of, I'm kind of hungry. I'm getting kind of hungry for some steel books. And I'll show you guys some places that I usually don't show you. I think the majority of these I go to Best Buy, but some steelbooks I have are actually used. So I'll show you a couple places that I look at for that. Now, the first one is going to be Half Price Books. And this is a good place to do it. And this weekend, they have your highest priced item 40% off. So yeah, that should be fun. Let's go to that right now. And here's the store. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like coming here every now and again. They don't have a big selection of steel books, but I still like to come here. And I was looking, and I like books too, and I found this little ditty. They've got some used video games, and I also collect those, so I look every once in a while. Usually the prices are way overpriced, so unless it's a half-off sale like this is, I don't buy anything. But I might pick up something here today. I love my handhelds. I love anything gaming, so I always have to look at everything they have. But here's what you guys wanted to see. Ah, oh, the steelbooks! I'm just excited that a used store has a steelbook section. I know where to go every time I come in here. It's great. Okay, so I picked some stuff up that I wasn't even expecting to get today, but they also have 40% off tomorrow, but I have to go back again tomorrow to get 40% off another high-priced item. And um, I think you'll like what I picked, because the two steelbooks that I'm going to get are kind of uh, in the same series. So I think I'm going to have to go back, and I'm going to have to pick the other one up tomorrow. So, yeah, let's just uh, do some speed montage stuff, go to tomorrow. Okay, so I am back, day two, half price books, time to get me my second steal for a hell of a deal. Let's go! I love some board games. Have some board game nights with the Super Media All Stars guys. So every time I'm here, I look at video games, I look at movies, I look at board games because they have a big section to use board games too. But then they have a lot of stuff that's always 20% off, and even with their half off sale, it still matches that 20%. And this is 12 bucks to begin with, so if that's the only thing that I bought, that would have been a fantastic deal. I love me some Rick and Morty. I mean, of course, who doesn't? And I love the show. I probably have like three or four vinyls, pop vinyls, of Rick and Morty. Just good. Whole bunch of good. And then before I go, I have to show you guys just their regular DVD and Blu-ray selection because they have a metric shit ton. It's amazing. I love it. I love I could browse here all day. Okay, so at the end of day two from my Half Price Books excursion, um, I actually didn't end up buying a steel book. I thought I was gonna buy the second one in the series that I'll show you later, but it was too scratched up for me, so I just had to pass it up. So let's get on to what I bought. Uh, I'll start with day one, and I'll start with what you guys are, I'll start with what you guys are kind of looking for, which of course is the steel book. So, that one, I bought. Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of the Black Pearl. And this guy is just looking awesome. I love the artwork for this. The back is looking nice too. And then the inside is just like all uh, the main four character headshots. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, they were charging 30 for it, but then I got 40% off. So a uh, nice steel book under 20 bucks, especially looking online at eBay prices on that bad boy. <sighs> was never gonna pay though, so I'm glad I was able to pick that one up because uh, that's actually a decent Pirates movie. Uh, it was a decent movie. It was the best Pirates movie, of course, and I actually kind of liked the second one. I was gonna pick up the second one, but again, way too scratched up, so I just decided not to. Uh, but I also bought some other things when I was in there. 
Uh, they have really cheap DVDs. They have like a clearance section, like a two dollars for a DVD. So they had season three, season three of Red vs. Blue, Rooster Teeth Old School, and then they also had season two of Rooster Teeth, Red vs. Blue. Good stuff. I remember watching this shit back in the day. It was really fun. I'm glad I have it for my collection now. And then. God, I collect so much shit, and another thing that I collect is VHS tapes, but I'm very, I'm trying to get very in particular with the ones that I have, just because I don't want my storage room in my house to get, like, overrun with VHS tapes. I watch them occasionally, but I don't need a ton, because I don't watch them that much. But, I do like horror VHS tapes, so I found Wolfman for a dollar. And I also found one of my favorite horror movies of all time, The Shining. And I love that right there, that artwork. That is my favorite. Just like the face within the T. So good. Good stuff. Um, let's see here, now let's go to the stuff that I bought on my second day that I went. And the biggest thing that I got with the 40% off was a board game because we have board game nights with all the friends here at Super Media All Stars, and one that I've played and I've wanted to pick up for the longest time is Epic Spell Wars. It is so fun. It's a goddamn fun game, and normally they have 20% of off like the regular sticker price already. So instead of 30 bucks, this was only 24. I was able to take 40% off the original 24 dollars, so it was a deal too good couldn't pass it up. I had to pick it up, and I'm glad I got it. I know a buddy of mine already has one. You can play this standalone, or you can add it to his deck, and you can add more people to it, so I'm definitely going to do that. I'm glad that we can play more fun stuff. The art style to this game, too, just so fucking fun. So, like, nasty my type of cartoon animation. Love it. I also picked up another board game. I'm a big Rick and Morty fan. I have been I started watching like halfway through season one, but then really started picking up on it season two, and then of course season three and everything. But uh, this was only 12 bucks, Rick and Morty Total Rick All. And that looked, that looked like a fun game, up to five players, 12 bucks Rick and Morty board game, I'll give it a shot. And then the last thing that I got, I, uh, I knew this was a thing, but I thought that you could only buy this with a special edition of like the Back to the Future collector set, which I don't have. But I kind of like the artwork on this anyway that I'll just kind of display. I kind of have like a little Back to the Future shrine at my house. And I'm going to add this to the shrine. Back to the Future, the animated series, season one. I didn't know how many seasons they had, but season one. And that artwork though, oh my god. So cringe inducing, but so amazing at the same time. There's the back for you. I've never seen an episode of this, so I'm definitely going to give it a shot. But yeah, um, those were all of my pickups today. If you want to see more of me looking for steelbooks out in the wild, uh, there should be a link on the screen right now. And if you want to look at anything else that I do for Super Media All-Stars, whether it be unboxing videos, podcasts we do, uh, click the subscribe link. I'd appreciate it. Alrighty, until next time, all see ya!